What's up, YouTube? It's all about the O21, and today we'll be testing the 2013 CYMA M14. All right, like I said in my other videos, I have a review and unboxing of this gun if you want to go check that out also. All right, for this test, I got a 400 round standard M14 magazine. It's uh, all metal CYMA standard. You know, go zoom up on that. Um, I have about 100 rounds in here, but to tell you the truth, I'm not sure. I just loaded some BBs up. I'm not really sure, but it should be um, sufficient for the test. As you guys could already see, I'm using a way better camera. We're actually using a Canon camcorder, which is way better than an iPhone. It can zoom up when we're doing tests, and it's uh, better quality and better in action. If I'm moving or if I'm showing you something, it can zoom up and get uh, better detail. All right, now this is my position from the target. Like I said in my other videos, this is about 100 feet. Um, that's not an accurate estimate, like I said uh, before. I'm guesstimating, uh, but I think it's su sufficient enough um, for the accuracy test, so um, let's get to it. All right, now we're gonna do some shots on semi. Flick off, flick off the safe right there, and let's get to it. Well, I need to reload the magazine. All right, let's go on to the full auto test. Now, as you guys can see, that was very, very accurate. So let's see how it does on full auto. Well, I need to reload this magazine. Sometimes it doesn't feel so well, but. All right, that was about it. All right, now here's the damage on the box. As you can see, this box isn't that big. So this many shots on that box is pretty good. Um, you have some indentations and you have some puncture wounds right there. Um, these are primarily from the semi-auto, which the M14 really should be. It's more of a DMR or a de designated marksman rifle, so it really shouldn't be on full auto. So I re really wish maybe CYMA could come out with maybe just a single semi version. So uh, as you can see, it's very nice. Uh, groupings actually ain't that bad in my hand, about that much. But there's some down here, but those are just you know off targets and by the way some of these um the bullets were going right left up so um those are about one every 10 but um it's my job to give you a full and accurate review and um truthfully go on semi-auto do not go on full auto it's very inaccurate and it, it lessens the pla uh, power very very drastically so um that's pretty much the uh, damage of the box so let's get back and wrap it up all right, guys, that was my test of the CYMA M14. As you can see, it performed way better on semi-auto, which, like I said, the M14 should be since more of a sniper rifle. You could also add a scope, which I didn't because I think it uh, looks um, a little more authentic, but, you know, authentic is what your definition of. It doesn't really matter. It could be a scope, whatever. Um, it has a bolt. It really doesn't have any purpose. Um, pretty much everything you see is metal except the heat shield and the body. So it's a pretty good gun. Um, like I said, performs very well, except for Hutto, and um, is built solid. And like I said, if you want to go see my review and a boxing of this gun, you can go right ahead to my channel. There'll probably be a um, link in the description. So uh, that's about it. Thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe, like, and comment, and uh, see you again.